welcome back to another vlog. Today I will be talking to you about the courses that are still available and how you can start your story with us today. If you are unsure on your next steps, why not speak to our information, advice and guidance team. They can discuss your options and help you find the best route for your future career. To book a session with the team, email guidance team at nwslc.ac.uk. We are still accepting sign ups through September and your place will be guaranteed. So why not apply today? Let's take a look at some of our available courses. The media courses at NWSLC offer a variety of different skills. The students get loads of experience, practical experience with using the TV studio and the radio studio that we have here. But mainly they, they're, what they're trying to do is, is build portfolio because that will help them get a job in the industry. We give them experience with photography, we give them experience with graphic design, uh, radio, television, filmmaking, web design, a lot of different practical courses. I think there's benefit. Um, vocational qualifications can lead to, to, to similar opportunities as you would with A-levels as well, so it can lead to going to university. However, with vocational qualification it does give you the opportunity to go into work-based experience jobs, so you're looking at gym instructing, um, personal training, sports coaches. We've had a few um, of our learners from, previous, from the previous year that have actually secured a, a teaching assistant jobs in primary schools. Um, so I'd like to think that it get students to go for an apprenticeship and full-time work, and then progression from there, going into companies, working up the ladder. Students don't feel pressured into being academic. They can actually work and progress at their own pace. And because industries out there over the last 30, 40 years have changed, particularly in engineering, we've got to change. And to do that, students have also got to be seen to be changing, as I say, because they're not all academic. A lot of skills out there, uh, whilst I've been in teaching, uh, is visually uh, responsive to how they learn. The students we have in engineering, hopefully, can actually have a, a big impact in the future. We'll give them a... The benefits of studying a vocational qualification are um, hands-on practical experience within our workshops. We get to work on live vehicles as well as workshop scenarios, um, building up experience to take into industry and knowledge uh, for work placements. The motorsport course can offer real life experience within the workshop and trackside. We also offer um, experience in the workshops where we work on live race vehicles as part of our project based learning. Vocational I think education is very important. We're developing their skills for life, um, not only in their workplace, but to set them up for all walks of life. They need to develop the skill sets in IT and have a, a very logical way of, of, of working so that they can meet the needs of the, of the employers. Um, we take them sometimes with very, very low qualifications. Grade E and Fs in uh, GCSE, we can take them all the way from level one all the way up to university, and we've had quite a lot of learners that have achieved this. This qualification can lead to a vast array of jobs such as programming, web design, cyber security, network engineering and it's such a vast array of jobs within the IT sector. In, in foundation learning uh, we, we actually do uh, something that's called RAPA. So RAPA is individualised towards the student and it's tailored for individual students. So each student has a target that they need to that they need to achieve, um, and each student is differently different. So it's all they're all treated as an individual. So everybody everybody's working towards their own individual goals, which is tailored, and then they they move on into their specific areas of wherever they need to do. Uh, we help and support them in that way, and we help and guide them into the right areas. Um, what, what it is. We try to get them a taster in that particular area as well. Uh, in foundation learning, certainly, certainly what I do, um, I do a lot of community work, community activities, and we, uh, we go out quite a lot. 
um, and it's it's more um, community work, out hands-on um, activities. Uh, whereas other people within foundation learning do different things, but it's all tailored to the individual student. Floristry is coming to Hinkley campus and we are so excited. We have two new full-time floristry courses. Let's take a look. Hi, my name's Megan and I teach floristry at, um, at North Warwickshire in South Leicester College um, and I teach level one. And I just wanted to just talk about what we actually offer and do on the course. So level one, there's no entry whatsoever. So this is quite ideal if you're creative and you've left school and you, you don't know what to do, or you haven't had the results that you wanted over the summer with your GCSEs. And this is quite a nice stepping stone to get in to do floristry, or if you just wanted to use it as like a little side step to go on to something else. Now floristry can open a lot of doors, so it doesn't mean um, you, you just stay in floristry, so you can do, you can be a wedding florist, you can be a, a floral designer, you could um, be just um, work from home freelance, you could just do big events so like Christmas, um, any big events like you have at the NEC. Um, and then also with level two as well, I'll just talk about level two. Um, Maddie Baker, which is the level two tutor, um, she teaches the next step up and she goes from like, um, so you learn all your basics on level one and then level two, you just go into a bit more detail. Um, you do have to learn about health and safety on both courses because it's important what equipment you need to use in floristry and why we use it and why there's colour coding. It's the same for everywhere else to keep everyone safe. Now I'm going to show you how you can apply for a course with us. And I'm going to give you the four steps on how to apply. Step one, visit www.nwslc.ac.uk and click apply now. Step two, choose the course you'd like to study and submit your application form. Step three, wait for your interview and your course offer. Step four, accept your place at NWSLC and start with us in September. It's as simple as that. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day and don't forget to apply this month. See you soon. Bye.